Okay, John Quist, Algebra 2, 10 5, radicals and rational exponents. So, this is, uh, we could call it fractional exponents, I guess, where um, instead of radicals, well, um, like the square root of 2, we can write it as 2 times to the 1 half power. And, and I was looking up and trying to figure out um, how we can get away with, you know, why, how this works. And, um, like, because, well, it works because I guess it, wor it works because of <clears throat> because it works. I guess so. Like we, if we have the square root of two times the square root of two, we know that's two, right? And or two to the first, right? Well, if I have two to the one half power and two to the one half power, well, the 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 law of exponents says I add these, right? Well, that's two to the one half plus one half is one, right? So it works. I mean, I mean that's how that's the that's the deal. And I'm sure there's better explanations out there, but I think we're just gonna go with that. So this is right. Okay. Well, let me look at talk about this for for a second. So x to the one over n, or the x to the n, the one nth, or the to the nth. Or the nth root of x, um, you could say x. The nth root of x is equal to x to the one over n. So one over x to the one over n is equal to the nth root of the nth radical or the nth root of x. And then if you have x to the m over n, m is a power like a whole number power and then the fraction is like 1 n 1 over n so you could write this as the nth root of x to the m power or you can reverse it and either way it works you can say m x to the m to the nth root like if I took 5 to the 3 halves power that's the square root of 5 to the third or the square root of 5 to the third power. So this would be like the square root of 5. So this would be the square root of 5 times the square root of 5, which is 5 times the square root of 5, right? Well, this would be the same thing. I, I take the, I could take the square root of 5 squared times the square root of 5. I can break that, I can split the radical, and I can get 5 times the square root of 5. So either way, you get the same answer. Okay, so um, so this says write write the expression in radical form. So three to the one half power is just the square root of three, I and mean, that's it. And then this one, well, it's the third root of five to the fourth power, and that's. Of course, my fours are never right on this thing. So the fourth power, right? Bingo, done. Then write each expression in exponential form. Okay, so this this would be very. Right, this is n, right? To the one fourth. So it would be five over four, or you could you could say n to the one fourth. The n to the one fourth times five over one, right? This you're multiplying these two, and so you get n to the five times one is five, and four times one is four. Okay, so this this one would be three to the four thirds power. 4 thirds power over 6 to the 3 halves power. Um, now, to 
could I could I monkey around with that? Um, yeah, maybe. Um, because I could I could say I could do this. I could say, well, this is is three to the one third, right? Um, times one third, you know, f four one thirds, right? Three, there's four one thirds. This just means four one thirds, all right? Three is four one thirds. Oops, one third. Well, this is three, right? Three to the one third to the third power. Or else I could I could say this is three to the one third to the third times three to the one third to the first. And that's a better way. And then then I get three. So I get three times the um, times three to the one third over and then this would be the same thing. It'd be six times six to the one half or this is yeah one half one half power. And then this could be two. So I guess you could you could you could make this three to the one third over two times six to the one half, I guess. But I think I think that would be good enough. Okay, so then this one, I want to simplify this so and actually this is just sixteen to the one half, or the square root of sixteen to the third power. Well, that'd be four to the third, right? Well, four times four times four uh, is four times four is sixteen times four. Um, no, I don't know. Let's clear this out. Six, four, six. What is it? Four to the third power. Four. This guy to the third. 64. So this is 64. Done. Uh, let's let's take this out of here. Uh, this is okay. So this one, I could say, well, 36 to the one half. Well, I, I want to find a perfect square in here. So, may I think get some more room here. So, 36 is 9 times, oh, 6, right? Yeah, 6 times 6 is 36. So, that's pff, thinking 9 times 4. Yeah. So, the, the 36, you know, this is the square root of 36, 1 half to 3rd, right? So that'd be six to the third. So whatever six to the third is, six to the third power is two hundred sixteen. Two hundred sixteen. Okay. And then this one, well, this is the same as the square root of forty-nine, right? And then this is just the square root of n squared times the square root of n squared because this is this is I can distribute this one half or the square root to two squares and the, the square and the, this cancels square root of 49 is 7 this is n and n so it would be n squared this last one is pretty simple the square root of x squared is x because that's the definition. Or you could say x to the one half to the second, right? And then you just multiply them and you get x to the two over two, which is x to the first. And then this one, well you got you got three x to the one half 
to the fifth power. Well, you could you could you could say this is to the two, and then three x to the one half to the two times three x to the one half times one. Because that'd be five. So this cancels, cancels. I get nine x squared. So I get get 9x squared then. This goes away. I get 9 9x squared times 3 the square, uh, and then I get 3x to the 1 half right to the first power. So times um, times 3x the one half. Well, this ugh, I'm getting a little crap here. So this x cancels. This x cancels with this, and I get one over nine x times three x to the one half. Now I, I could bring that underneath. But I think that would be, I think that would be good. I mean, I could bring this underneath here, and I'd have to, I'd have to square it. So I could get, I could get something like, um, I could get one over nine, three x to the third. The one half because then the, this guy could be, you know, I brought this x in. I have to square it to bring it underneath this one half. Is it x squared to the one half of one? I could bring it out, but I think this is good. Um, I'm gonna have to work on this a little bit, but this is good enough for now. We'll go with this.